Unajua uzuri wa hii pombe ni ati ladha yake ni nyororo sana. Hai 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 gongi ulimi yako vile pombe zingine zinagonga ulimi. Hai west leweza mtu ile ujinga ya kulewa unaanguka unatupa longi unaacha viatu. So that be is stable and clear. It's more refined than the drink that I was taking before. One thing about Kenya is the beer generally is pretty good. Uh, and this is as good as it gets. In fact the first time nilijaribu nikaona inanifaa. I liked it. It was good beer. No, it's nice. Ni kwa tumia pombe zingine lakini wakati nilianza kutumia hii naona ile maneno ile ile maneno nilikuwa nataka nikaipata kwa hii. A good raga must be natural. There should be no additive. The only foolproof way to avoid a hangover of course is not to drink alcohol. And while some drinkers are almost resigned to getting one nasty headache after another after imbibing their favorite tipple, for some there exists a never-ending search to try and find a way of having some social fun with other famed hangovers. Kenyans are rated Africa's fifth largest drinking nation. It's a social drink. Friends and family get together. Beers of probably the best social drink in the world. It's a fun drink, something that breaks barriers and enables flowing conversation. Mimi huwa nakaa na wenzangu kwa kumso mbali mbali kupanga mambo ya maisha. It's my space drink that men and women meet time alone to either reflect and think. The world consumes 150 billion liters of beer annually and in Kenya alone beer accounts for almost 30 billion shillings turnover which in turn accounts for almost 70% of all alcoholic beverages sales in shillings. Several beer brands exist in the growing Kenyan market. Competition is stiff. Hiroshi has reached the summit. October 2008. Venue: the outskirts of Naivasha. A new baby is born. A new player marches into a previously monopolistic beer market. Keroche Breweries Limited, a wholly owned Kenyan company, puts on gloves and marches into the ring of beer competition. We must have the courage to go in for the big, you know, for the big play, you know. So putting up a facility like Keroche is no mean task. It is a heavy investment. What we wanted was uh, to give a choice to Kenyans. And not, it was not just a choice. It was a choice of a higher quality than what uh, people have been used to. A courageous fit that draws several gasps of anxiety. How dare they? Will they manage? But all these fears and anxieties are put on hold as Kenya's political leaders, business elite and Kenyans gather in Naivasha to celebrate this new dawn. Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga leads the celebration as he launches the new 1 billion shilling plant. He of course is not blind to the market realities that the new player will soon confront. One thing that strikes everyone present is Kerochi Brothers investment on technology. The prime minister himself a trained engineer is impressed. They have built an amazing manufacturing plant. And I know this because uh, I have worked in brewing plants in Germany. In a way the embracing of modern technology seems to be the ace up the new player sleeve. For the first time in Kenya it's now possible to have a fully computerized plant. All processes can be consistent year in year out. Established in 1997, Keroche Breweries Limited and its predecessor Keroche Industries have proven to be the most resilient of the new generation of Kenyan brewers. Operating what is known as a boutique microbrewery The company planned to produce a natural beer free of additives and preservatives and brewed. It's a natural brewed raga. Even the simple process of mixing barley is jealously guarded. Anything that does not match its programmed process is spotted and isolated. According to Keroche Breweries, consistency is key. We have a weighing scale which is of very high precision. We'll t- we'll tell the brewer we'll raise an alarm. You are slightly off by 5 grams. It's not uh, it has not been easy. Of course it's more expensive uh, like now using the latest technology in the brewing industry, 21st century technology, which means that you'll get the best beer 
uh, international standard. 100% computerized, you are sure of output, output. The same throughout, same flavor, same color, same taste, everything. And the new plant added a new product on the shelf, Summit Beer. At Kirochi Breweries, they call their effort, journey and vision a march to the summit. It is a day for every Kenyan who has been told the mountain is too high or the challenge is too hard. It is a day for every Kenyan who was told you cannot dare because the price to succeed is too high. Mugo Kibati, the Director General of Vision 2030, the body charged with fast-tracking the country's economic growth, of which industrialization is a key element, describes Kiroche Brewery's efforts as a watershed. As part of Vision 2030, one of the things we must promote alongside foreign direct investments, alongside multinationals, is indigenous investments in manufacturing. In developing Summit Beer, the team at Keroche Breweries were keen on three things. A natural beer without any elements that accelerate any process. In our summit, we don't add enzymes. When we come to fermentation or cold storage, we don't add any clarifying material. Some of those clarifying materials, they remain in the beer. They are chemical and they are not causing hangover. A consistent beer the moment you initiate a, pro, a, a, a step, it goes to completion. That ensures that we are going to have same quality all the time for all our brews. An error-free process. Trust the best technology, but verify. We have remote controls which are actually you check them, but you never know they could fail at any time. Who is going to ascertain that now as well? We have standard thermometers. We have all those to counter check the process instruments. Spreading across Kenya is a challenge. It takes more than transporting the product to consumers' shelves. An intimate relationship between the distributor, bar owner, and consumer needs careful nurturing. As the saying goes, business is people. In Rumuru, we have to go to the talk of 62. We have summit. The summit is going to be a summit. We have to go to the most of the customers, they wanted because it's a Kenyan beer and, and because of the places. The places are very good and they are doing okay and the customers are happy with it. Yani ipo mbe wa ataki yata wasikia timekosa kwa depot. Jua mpaka wanachukua magali zao, wanakujia magali ni ipo mbe hapa factory. We are really proud and that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us uh, moving every day when we know that Kenyans are with us. Otherwise, if they are not with you, it will be very hard for you to wake up in the morning and go to work. And the choosy Kenyan consumers have taken notice. And one of the things they are talking about is the benefits of a natural beer. You can keep drinking it and you don't get that build up. This is a fat-free beer, which I think is great for my body. And it's sugar-free, which is also great for my body. In and for Kenyan consumers, no hangover is almost the catchphrase for Summit Beer. The beer doesn't have hangover, it doesn't have no hangover. I want to go to Summit and say no hangover. Now, I'm going to go to Summit and I'm going to go to Summit. I want to go to Summit, I want to go to No hangovers. No bad taste. Na even money. Wakati wa kweda job. Haina iyo hangover. People thought you drink your beer, you go home with the hangovers, it's normal. But now Kenyans have started realizing it's not a normal thing. You should have enjoyed your beer, you should have enjoyed your drink, go home, have no hangover. And lots of consumers are focused on what they assert is their right. National pride right of choice and proof that a Kenyan company can scale the same heights multinationals have managed. We are also working with Kenya because we know that we are Kenya. We are working with Kenya What we have now is a Kenyan summit. Kama sisi we are going to be able to get the same thing. We are going to be able to get the same thing. 
sisi wa Kenya hakuna mahali tuwezi kufika. Bibi yake ni nafuu kidogo. It's true we are suffering we manufacturers but it's not the right time to add prices on uh, any product let's say the beer or any other product because the more we add the more we keep on losing our customers i believe firmly that kenyans make natural entrepreneurs when they make up their mind to to do it and true to the saying that big things have small beginnings keroche breweries continues its march to the summit and now a year later they prepare to welcome another product in their fold a new beer will hit bar shelves next month summit malt and again the tradition of carefully brewed beer is promised with a strong focus on a high threshold in the making of a beer for the summit consumers it seems there is nothing better than breaking the routine of life with new fresh ideas that allows all classes of consumers to put away their cares some time on a day and sometimes longer to celebrate another additional step in Kenya's march to the summit. It's beautiful man. It's a good beer. Vijana wa siku hizi wanapenda ule mtu anajaribu kubadilisha mambo. I must admit after today I will have a few more of these. You don't know what you're